Welcome to the Dreamcraft Galaxy, where technology meets human potential. Ever pondered how intricate and complex our minds and bodies are? What if they respond to something inexplicable, something utterly mysterious? Enter the Havana Syndrome, a perplexing condition that first caught the world's attention back in 2016 in Havana, Cuba. Picture this. U.S. diplomats and CIA operatives stationed in the city suddenly began experiencing a myriad of bewildering symptoms. They reported hearing loss, dizziness, persistent ringing in their ears, problems with balance, visual difficulties, headaches, and an overwhelming sense of fatigue. It wasn't just the range of symptoms that was puzzling, but their sudden onset and untraceable cause that truly confounded the medical professionals. Speculations ran wild, with theories of sonic attacks making the rounds, yet nothing concrete could be established. The onset of Havana syndrome was as sudden as it was baffling, sending the medical and intelligence communities into a frenzy of questions. From the confines of Havana, this syndrome didn't take long to cross borders and oceans. Its reach was surprisingly far and wide. Almost like a silent specter, Havana syndrome started to appear in places far removed from its namesake. Perhaps it was the wind carrying it, or maybe it was the sheer universality of the human condition. But before long, the syndrome was reported in countries as diverse as China and Canada. The number of reported cases began to increase year by year, and it was clear that this was no isolated incident. The chorus of concern grew louder with each passing day, and what was particularly intriguing was that the victims weren't just diplomats, ensconced in their embassies, but also intelligence officers and military personnel. These were people trained to withstand the toughest of conditions, yet they were falling prey to this elusive syndrome. Now, you might think that with such a diverse group of victims, the symptoms would vary widely too. But here's where the plot thickens. The symptoms remained remarkably consistent. Imagine the surprise of physicians around the world when they found that their patients, separated by thousands of miles, were all describing the same strange sensations. Unexplained headaches, dizziness, and even hearing loss. As the word spread, so did the intrigue, and so did the concern. The syndrome was no longer a far-off problem that could be ignored. It was here, and it was real. And it was affecting people from all walks of life, people who had never even set foot in Havana. The consistency of the symptoms, the diversity of the victims, and the geographic spread of the syndrome all added to the enigma. It was like a jigsaw puzzle with pieces that just wouldn't fit, but the world was not ready to give up. Scientists and researchers across the globe were determined to unravel this medical mystery. As the syndrome spread, so did the intrigue and concern. The world was now grappling with a medical mystery of an unprecedented kind. Despite the passage of years and the involvement of top medical experts, Havana syndrome remains a puzzle. This enigmatic syndrome has spawned a plethora of theories, each one as intriguing as the last, yet none definitive. The first theory to gain traction was that of sonic attacks. Some hypothesized that a novel, unknown type of sound wave might be causing the symptoms. However, the absence of a clear source and the lack of any known sound waves capable of causing such symptoms rendered this theory largely unproven. Next came the microwave weapon theory. This theory suggested that the symptoms were the result of attacks using focused microwaves. While this theory was consistent with the reported symptoms, it failed to explain why only specific individuals were targeted and why no physical evidence of such weapons was found. Additionally, some experts proposed a psychological explanation, suggesting that the syndrome could be a manifestation of mass psychogenic illness where stress or fear of a perceived threat can lead to physical symptoms. However, this theory struggled to account for the consistency of symptoms across diverse groups of people and geographical locations. Amidst this whirlpool of theories, what remains clear is the lack of consensus. The U.S. government, along with other interested parties, continues to investigate the Havana syndrome, but the riddle remains unsolved. Each new case brings with it a renewed sense of urgency and a deepened mystery. The relentless pursuit of answers is a testament to our human drive to understand and explain the unexplainable. What is certain is that Havana syndrome serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of the human body and mind. The multitude of symptoms, their inexplicable onset and the mystery surrounding their cause all underscore the intricate and delicate balance that governs our existence. The story of Havana syndrome is a testament to the human body's complexity and the mysteries that remain within our own minds and bodies. As the tale of Havana syndrome continues to unfold, so does our quest for understanding the unknown. Have you ever wondered if your microwave could be more than just a kitchen appliance? 
Imagine a world where microwaves aren't just for heating leftovers, but a potent and controversial weapon. Microwave weapons, a term that strikes intrigue and prompts controversy, are a reality of modern warfare. With the power to disrupt, disorient, and even damage, they've become the subject of many heated debates. Intrigued? Hold your curiosity as we delve into the science behind these microwave weapons. Scene script. Microwave weapons sound like something straight from a sci-fi movie, right? But the publicly available information is not relevant here. So, please read the book, Killer in the Shadows, to obtain more information. Microwave weapon attacks have been occurring for several decades, and the complaints from victims have been dismissed by the U.S. government as mental problems until now. When the U.S. diplomats were attacked, they gave it a fancy name, Havana Syndrome. But both are the same type of criminal activity. The above theory about microwave weapons, Havana Syndrome, is disproved in the upcoming book, Killer in the Shadows by Prem Nambiar, published by Amazon. The following is the review of the book. An eye-opening, detailed compilation of decades of pain and torture, Prem Nambiar's Killer in the Shadows, forces readers to confront a reality that society and the world have continued to shy away from. The book dedicates a significant number of pages to building on concepts early on, which the reader will later find crucial in understanding the book. This effort by the author to familiarize the reader with the terms and concepts later presented in this book pays off handsomely. Prem discusses so well the nervous system and its components, the central and peripheral, and the different parts that constitute each component that one is tempted to believe he has a degree in the subject. He also discusses the diverse types of radiation and their dangerous effects on humans as well as their beneficial uses to humans. His arguments are clear and compelling, leaving you with questions of your own like any informative book should. Similarly, his description of the torture he's endured and the government's inaction leave you incensed on his behalf. And yet, while attempting to convey his pain and suffering, the author's words never reflect bitterness or anger. Prem questions righteously, why aren't the CIA and US government opening a detailed investigation into this terrible crime? It's a mystery to me. He desires foremost to understand why these events keep recurring. He argues, although the targeted individuals, TIs, have raised concerns about microwave weapon attacks, the government hasn't done anything to help. Throughout the book, Prem insists that the world's governments are aware of microwave weapon attacks, and reading the many instances cited, one is tempted to believe him. Hence, their inaction and adamant refusal to listen to the victims become deeply frustrating. People in similar situations will find this book helpful since Prem also details the practices that bring him relief. Whatever your previous stance regarding microwave weapon assaults, Prem's work is a rude awakening that will leave you questioning many of your earlier staunch beliefs on the topic. In a world that spins faster every day, we're here to keep you in the loop. Dive into the ever-evolving realm of artificial intelligence with us. Be an integral part of this revolution. How? Subscribe, watch, share, Ignite conversations, engage in the dialogue. Ready for this thrilling ride? Prepared to glimpse the future? If the answer is yes, press subscribe. Stay tuned, stay informed, and become an active participant in this exhilarating adventure. Subscribe to Dreamcraft Galaxy. Don't skip a beat in this revolution.